So I'm Jeff Williams, I'm the, um, the trustee, the uh, building uh, person responsible for the building at Wauwatosa Avenue, United Methodist Church, which is in Wauwatosa. So the process for evaluating solar with Arch, and actually we did get competitive bids, so we had a no number of contractors. So we did have RFPs that we did send out to contractors. Um, we did review these. Um, we found Arch to be most competitive. They were also helpful in helping us understand uh, what we need, the options that were out there, and just kind of walked us through the process. So that helped us a lot in assessing uh, not only the RFP, but what our final deliverable was going to be in terms of solar panels. So tips for other uh, businesses, churches uh, that are considering solar energy. Um, the way we did it, and it served us well, uh, we, do, we do have a, called an accountable leadership board. Uh, this was socialized with the board. They were supportive of the effort. Uh, they were supportive of the approach in terms of using a foundation uh, to supply panels. Um, we also utilize a member of our congregation who has a construction background. So having that sort of expertise was very helpful to not only me, who kind of oversaw the project, but also to our church board in terms of any technical questions uh, they might have. So I think it is important to, to, to try to get as, uh, somebody in your, in your business, in your church, who has some technical background, some construction background, um, but also make sure the, the church uh, is aware of what you're doing. I think it builds some excitement in the church to know that we are doing this, that we are going to see some savings, that we're going to meet some of our green objectives. Um, and also we're going to be able to measure and show the congregation uh, the savings we have. So I think um, involvement by people in the church, sharing uh, what the outcome is going to be, and then be able to measure the outcome and to share that as well. Uh, those were all keys to the successful installation of the solar panels. We've used Arch in the past. We've had quotes from them in the past. They've been easy to work with, very responsive. Um, I think as we went through this process with Arch, it really cemented uh, that we made the right decision to go with Arch. Um, with solar panels, we found there were technology changes. Arch was very flexible, helped us work with them. Uh, we were also working with a foundation who provided uh, panels um, and you know, just trying to coordinate not only with the church to get the work done and the panels that would be delivered, but Arch also worked with the foundation. So it was kind of three parties trying to make sure we got the right panels, the right solutions, what we were looking for. And uh, we really didn't miss a beat. Arch was uh, very communicative, very responsive, and I uh, could really speak to, to us in layperson's terms. So it never got too technical to help us understand uh, what we were getting and the benefits of what we were getting. Uh, how was the overall solar experience? It was good. It was, uh, it was on time. We were a little nervous about supply chain issues. Uh, and just a number of uh, challenges going on because we did do this during the, the COVID uh, period, but the panels were delivered. They were installed rather quickly. Um, we got the, uh, the date to get Wisconsin Electric out here to uh, connect to the system and we were good to go. It just seemed very smooth once the panels were here, uh, mounted on the roof, hooked into the system and with Wisconsin Electric, it went great. Um, the other thing is we do have a, an app that we can use to monitor the savings that we are uh, experiencing right now, which was something we were not aware of, but it was really nice to have that so we could share with the congregation the savings we're receiving in our energy.